I'm going to test it now. Skip the breadboard plugged in and testing, so I hope it works. And seems to be working. I'm using an inductor that is uh, different from the 33 micro Henry um, inductor that Mr. Freddy W1 used. This is taken from a power supply. I'm not sure what's the value, but this is a uh, small inductor. I don't know how many turns of wire. Seven LEDs here. And at least the the battery uh, part works. There's only one alkaline battery here. Basically the chip has four pins. Two uh, are connected to the solar panel and two connected to the battery and the inductor and the LED. And it's very simple. I don't think you can make it any more simpler than that. And they're able to incorporate the whole thing into this chip here. The QX5252, which is used in, I guess, basically all or most of the solar lights. And you have to buy them like a hundred pieces, a thousand pieces, but Mr. Freddy W1, he was able to find a source and encourage the seller to make it available on eBay. And now you can buy it on eBay. I think I bought five or ten of them, maybe five for a few dollars. If you buy a lot, if you buy a hundred, it will be a lot cheaper. But uh, I'm still trying to see if I can make this work. So. I don't want to buy a hundred and it's not really important how many LEDs you use at this point for me anyway because if this works for me I can adjust the number of LEDs that I use I can change the value of the inductor I can change the battery um, configuration I can use any type of solar panels that I want to I have this type here this is like a 6 volt. It's probably overkill, but in solar application, it's probably better to use oversized one than to use undersized ones because uh, there are days that you're not going to have sunshine, and if you have an over oversized panels, it can it can still charge. But if you have a weak or small panel, it's not going to charge. So right now I'm just going to finish up soldering and the case I don't know what to use. I will probably use a bottle like I did with my other solar light. I'm going to use a glass bottle uh, because it's weatherproof. If I put it in a plastic box and then put it outside, this is not going to last. So this will be completely encased in a glass jar and I'll draw a hole in the lid and pass a wire through for the solar panel and this will be another solar solar um, light okay um, let me see if I can find that oscillator well let me see if I can find my glasses first and I can find the oscillator principle of this light is similar to this oscillator when I was making this I wasn't sure what it was good for but basically it's an oscillator and basically it's an inverted circuitry and it blinks it is slowly blinking but the idea behind this is the same as this except the LEDs are blinking so fast oscillating so fast you can't see it so um, you can use one single battery to power this this uses a back EMF or electromagnetic force 
um, to light the LED instead of directly uh, driving the LEDs with a single battery. This <coughs> this 1.5 volt would not drive this, so it is not um, driving this directly. It is oscillating, uh, pulsing the LEDs, so you can use less energy uh, from the battery. Same thing for this. I think this is what they call 50% duty cycle. Uh, forgive me if I don't know all the uh, answers or I'm misinterpreting certain things. I'm not an electronic uh, or electrical engineer. I just play around with this stuff. So it's the same idea except this is obviously blinking very slowly. All right, I'm going to finish soldering up and uh, make this work.